the earth's surface is not the same everywhere it has hills valleys mountains and plateaus and these can be found under the sea too this variation in landform is due to the two processes internal and external process going in and on the earth surface internal process within earth surface continuous slow movements are taking place which lead to either upliftment or sinking of land at several places these are often caused due to the movement of molten rocks under the lithosphere and is termed as an internal process external process on the surface of earth the elements of nature like running water moving ice and wind are continuously wearing down and rebuilding the land surface this is an external process both internal and external processes result in formation of three major types of land forms mountains plateaus and plains mountains a mountain is a conical landmass much higher than its surrounding area mountains which occur in a line or chain are known as range and may stretch several hundreds of kilometers mountains are very important mountains are of three types fold mountains block mountains and volcanic mountains mountains are a storehouse of water several glaciers are found on high mountains these become sources of rivers ideal for irrigation and generating electricity at lower height the river valleys and terraces provide fertile land for cultivation of crops the mountain slopes have thick forests which provide several products like gum and raisin they are a great tourist attraction too the adventure sports like skiing river rafting and paragliding are a great attraction for all tourists fold mountains when a part of the earth's surface is pushed up from opposite directions wrinkles or folds are formed which form fold mountains these mountains may be very high with steep slopes and a sharp peak the himalayas and the rockies are young fold mountains the aravallis in india are the oldest fold mountains in the world block mountains block mountains are created when large areas are displaced vertically between two cracks or faults the blocks which are uplifted are called horst or mountains while those which are lowered are called graben or rift valleys the vosges mountains and the rhine valley of europe are examples of these type of mountains volcanic mountains volcanic mountains are formed as a result of volcanic activity molten lava erupts from opening in the earth's crust and on reaching the surface it cools and hardens as layers of lava pile up around the opening gradually a mountain is formed mount fujiyama in japan and mount kilimanjaro in tanzania are typical examples of volcanic mountains plateaus a plateau is a flat table land reasonably high with steep slopes on one or more sides based on their formation plateaus can be classified into intermontane plateau volcanic and residual plateaus intermontane plateau certain plateaus lie between mountain formed in response to the collision of sections of the earth's crust these are called intermontane plateaus the tibetan plateau was created as a result of the collision between the indian plate and european plate volcanic plateau plateaus formed as a result of many lava flows that spread over hundreds of thousands of square kilometers building up the land surface are called volcanic or lava plateaus the deccan plateau is a lava plateau that was formed over a period of more than 1 million years residual plateau certain plateaus can form simply when the sides of a land are weathered away by erosion these are known as residual plateaus the cumberland plateaus in usa is an example of this type plateaus some plateaus are formed as a result of geological uplift or the slow upward movement of large parts of stable areas of the earth's crust 
the Chota Nagpur Plateau is one such plateau. Plateaus are very important resources. The plateaus are a storehouse of minerals, iron ore, copper, gold, diamonds and several other minerals are found here. Rivers flowing down the slopes of plateaus form waterfalls which help in generating hydroelectricity. Some plateaus are made up of lava and provide black soil which is extremely fertile. As plateaus can support both farming and mining activities, several people settle here. These are also great tourist attractions. Plains Low-lying, flat regions with the gentle slopes are called plains. Certain plains are extremely flat while others are undulating. Most of the plains are formed by rivers and their tributaries and are very important. As the rivers flow down the slopes of mountains and plateaus, they erode materials and carry deposits like sand and slit along the valleys. These deposits are called alluvium and form the most fertile plains of the world. Plains are the most densely populated areas in the world. The fertile soil, availability of water, not only provides land for cultivation but also make it easy to build houses and roads. This also promotes trade. Some of these plains have been cradles of ancient civilizations. Even today, a large chunk of world's population is settled in these areas. Influence of landforms on human life Different landforms support different kinds of plant and animal life. The livelihood of people living in each landform is also different. Life in mountainous areas is tougher than in the plain. The slopes are rocky and don't support many crops. Certain plantations and orchards do flourish wherever soil is fertile. Plateau regions have several minerals and precious stones. Mining is an important activity here. Plain and valley have rich fertile soil. Agriculture flourishes in these areas. Mountain and plateaus often experience extreme weather conditions like storms, earthquakes and landslides. In plains, Floods and droughts are common.